hi I'm Sheila Shemay welcome to my channel and today you guys um, I'm gonna show you a few items that I um, got the other day which was yesterday and like I said I am into um, purchasing more skincare products so that's my main focus for the past few weeks is just new skincare. Um, once again, I want to say there's nothing wrong with the skincare products that I've been using. They've been working, but I just been wanting to try new skincare products. So I did pick up like three more skincare, well, two more skincare products, and I wanted to show you these other two skincare products that I purchased. Okay and they're mainly serums okay the products that i use because all the rest of the skincare products are not serum products okay so i picked up these two serum products right here and this one right here this one right here is actually one um brand that i've been using I've been using the eye cream and I've been using the uh, stretch mark uh, complex cream that I used in my tutorial, my last tutorial. It is the stretch mark and wrinkle complex, uh, well, the stretch mark and wrinkle smoothing complex. And you can use this on your face. Um, and so I've been using this as a moisturizer and a primer and it is wonderful. So this is coming from the same brand. This is the Derm Dermacentin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Dermas. I don't know. I'm going to spell it. It's D-E-R-M-A-C-T-I-N dash T-S. Okay. And it's a collagen serum okay and this is concentrated it's an anti-wrinkle serum formula okay this is supposed to visibly reduce the appearance of wrinkles fine lines and crow's feet okay the skin appears plumper firmer and smoother it helps improves elasticity and it's a concentrated formula okay that's what it says there's probably more it says cleanse and dry face thoroughly gently massage into the face neck and decollete use morning and evening and it is just like the way it, it looks on the box it looks like this now i am buying a good bit of skincare products you know that some of these products, you know I'm not going to use them all at one time. But this is how it looks, as you see. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand just to see how this feels on the skin. Oh, it's like, it's kind of, it's not sticky, but it's kind of thick-like, you see. Um, but I just want to see how it feels. It feels great. Once you start uh, rubbing it in, it's not thick at all, okay? Um, and it doesn't have a smell, so that's good. Um, but I, like I said, about using all these products at once, I will research and I will look at the directions and I will use these skincare products, you know, appropriately. I'm just buying up a good bit because once again when it comes down to skin care to me in my opinion you never get enough skin care because your skin can be a different way you know every day something different could be going on with your skin one day your skin could be breaking out the next day it could be oily next day it could be super dry next day it could just need some uh extra cleansing next day it could need some exfoliation you just don't never know how your skin gonna be from day to day so i consider you know skin care being something that you can never get enough of uh because your skin can just be a uh, different every day okay so skin care is something that 
You don't have to just stick to one thing, you know. Uh, but you go by your own judgment. Everybody knows their skin. But for me, I love to have many different skincare products because whatever's whatever's going on with my skin, I will have a product that I can use to help my skin, whether it's breaking out, whether it's too dry, whether it's starting to be oily or uh, if I'm noticing uh, like my skin is starting to look discolorated, like my discoloration areas on my face start to appear more, um, you know, more intense, then I like to have a product to help with the discoloration and things like that or dark spots, etc., etc. You never get, like I never get enough of skincare. So that's why I'm buying a, a good bit of skincare just so that I can take care of my skin. And once again, I do feel like it's very, very important and it is important and it's a part of the health as to being healthy okay but anyway i'm gonna try this serum you guys uh once again it's by this brand called d-r-m-a-c-t-i-n-t-s um serum and so collagen serum so it comes in a box like this so i'm gonna try this out eventually and uh of course if I once I try these products and you know with skincare it's not just a weak thing that you can come back unless you use it and just something terrible happens to the skin but if I'm using these products and everything is going okay I can't tell you a specific time I will come back and talk to you about these products I'm going to use them and make sure that they work for my skin in the particular reason for me using the product that it works for that particular reason so yes just to let you know i'll just come back in when i feel like it's time that i should say something about the product if it's a good product or if it's a product that didn't do anything for me or if it did something terrible to my skin i'll come back and let you all know but i feel like a majority of these products will work for my skin that's just what i feel but you never know until you try it this one right here is an equitone concentrated dark spot serum i went ahead and picked up this because i do have a few dark spots on my skin and they used to be worse but i you know took care of my skin and as I was taking care of my skin, my skin got better in terms of the dark spots and everything. But this is a product that fades the appearance of dark spots and it brightens skin tone. Okay, I got this for discoloration as well. Um, but anyways, it says you apply it at bedtime, cleanse and dry face thoroughly. Gently massage into face, neck, and decollete. Use nightly. Okay. So once again, um, I got another serum. This just makes two serums that I have. Okay. I think because the other one, I think I, I think I have another one. Yeah, I got another age spot serum. But I saw this and I thought, you know, why not um, just see which one is better. <laughs> So this is how it looks. So yes, this is how it looks. It was another product that I wanted, but I could not find it. But maybe next time I will. But I'm going to see how it feels on the skin. It's like water. It feels just like water. Once I apply it to my skin here, as you can see, maybe, maybe you can see that. And... That one don't have a smell to it either. So that's really great that it doesn't have a smell. But yeah, you guys, this is how it looks. And this one, I did mention how to use this, I believe. Apply to skin at bedtime. Use nightly. So yeah, I got that right there for dark spots and um, 
and for skin tone okay it helps with the skin tone if you have discoloration like I do on the skin it should be good for that the next few products that I picked up are Ardell products okay once again I've been loving the Ardell products like brow products I have on the uh, Ardell brow pencil in dark brown right now I do like it I did pick up the uh, Ardell brow pencil in medium brown um, I just love the triangular shape of these brow pencils because it just makes it just helps to make my brows more precise and more even and I just love this brow pencil by Ardell okay it's a favorite of mine I love it so this one is in medium brown and I picked up the uh, Ardell professional um, brow pomade in medium brown as well because I got the dark brown I got the blonde so I don't have the medium brown and it's the same for the brow pencil I have the blonde and I have the dark brown but I did not get the medium brown in that but yeah I got the brow pomade uh, in medium brown because I do like the brow pomade as well the next product that I picked up is one that um, I don't know if it's going to replace or is it going to be better than the Rimmel Accelerator um, uh, Growth Serum. Uh, I even done a blog on that. Uh, but this one is the Ardell Lash and Brow Excel. Um, it's a lash and brow strengthener and revitalizer. This is how it looks. It's supposed to help grow out the uh, eyelashes and the eyebrows. Okay. It says uh, the Ardell Lash and Brow Excel is formulated with a concentrated serum of multi-proteins and conditioners that works to immediately repair weak lashes and brows. Um, application after cleansing face brush product onto brows and lashes starting at the base. So I'm excited to try this and I cannot wait to try this to just see if it'll be better than the uh, Rimmel, uh, what is it, the Rimmel Accelerator um, Lash and Brow Growth serum or something like that I've been using that for a while and it does help when my lashes get a little weak or I feel like products that I've been using or mascaras that I've used that might have broke off my like weaken my lashes or something then I will apply that serum you know to my uh, lash line just to help strengthen my lashes and even my brows if I over tweeze my brows or if I want to grow them back out and reshape them I use a brow or a lash serum to get them to grow a little faster so yeah you guys so I picked up this to use on my lashes and my brows okay all right now I have a few more products they are just basically just a few more cosmetics um, I did pick up a Black Radiance uh, Eye Appeal Shadow and I forget the name of this one because I pulled off the tab and it was on the tab. But it's something berry, okay? It's like berry colors. Um, but it looks like this and I am using this. I do have a few shadows on my eyes today and I can tell you the shadows that I used out of this palette today to create this look. Um, I used uh, this color called this brow bone color right here in the inner portions of my eye, my inner corner here. And then I used this color right here on my eyelid. And then I used this color slightly above my eyelid. And then I used uh, this color like into the crease, into the corner. 
okay those are the colors that i used all right so i did use this today and i do like these eyeshadow palettes they are beautiful okay i do have another one as you already know i do have a couple of more black radiance products i have the black radiance um honey amber um pressed powder okay I picked up this because I can use this not only for a pressed powder, but for a color as a transition color for my eyeshadows. Um, so I picked up this palette here in this color here. It's a pressed powder. It's called Honey Amber. And it's beautiful. I do have it on my face today. I used it. I haven't used a pressed powder in about five days but i used it today and so yeah you guys that's what i have always for is pressed powder and like i said this is in the number 860 honey amber by black radiance okay so i picked up that and i have one more and i do have this on but this is really a um this is really like an highlighter okay if you look on my cheeks, you'll see this golden shade here. Hopefully you can see it right up in here. It's like this golden light shade. Well, I thought this was going to be a blush, uh, but it says Artistic Color Baked Bronzer. Okay. It's in the shade Ginger Snout by Black Radiance. Um, so I picked up this here. And it is a highlighter, okay? And it looks like this. All right. So they had two more blushes, but they were, they were like red tone blushes. And I have to be careful about red because if I overdo it with red blush, it can be a disaster. And you know how I can put on some blush, okay? So I still might buy them the next time, but I have to be very careful as to how much I put on but anyway this color looks like that it's more like a highlighter I'll swatch it here so you can see it that's how it looks as you can tell this will be good as an eyeshadow or a highlighter and I can blend it out so you can take a look at it there it is right there so yeah yeah that's it so, yeah, I like it still, even though it is more like a highlighter or an eyeshadow color. Now, the next product, I picked up a Milani um, lipstick. It's a color statement, yeah. Milani color statement lipstick in number 61, matte naked. Okay, I have this on my lips right now. This is what it looks like. I love this nude. It's going to be awesome for the fall and even the winter time. It's not too bright. It's not too, you know, like that concealer nude. It's just the perfect nude shade. And I like it a lot. It's very beautiful. So that's what I have on my lips today. And it was a product that I bought yesterday. Really, really like this. Okay. And I have another one. I have Matte Innocent as well. But I want more. I saw a few more. But I thought I would wait until next time to get the other colors. The other two products that I noticed, and I don't know if they're going to work for me, but I'm going to make them work. I saw these NYC Smooth Skin um, Parfait. This one is in the 2-in-1. Uh, it's a compact foundation and concealer. I got mine in the shade 003 Medium. Uh, so it says it's a foundation and a concealer. So I'm just like, okay, foundation and concealer. I would like to see that. See if it works. So I'm opening it up right now. And it is going to be the right shade. I'm surprised because with NYC, NYC is almost just like um, Rimmel. Um, 
It's almost like Rimmel and another brand, Hoard Candies, Hoard of Fine Shades, um, all kinds of shades. It's hard to find a variety. That's what I was trying to say. It's hard to find a good range of shades in those brands. But this one happens to be one that I know that I can use. And it says it's a foundation. Oh, yeah, it's creamy, you guys. It's a creamy texture. As you see on my hand here. And yeah, that will work for me. So it's foundation and a concealer in one. So that's what it says. I will try it out and see whether or not I like it. But it was, but it is by the brand NYC, and it only costs like three dollars and some change, which was amazing. Um, this other one is the NYC Smooth Skin BB Radiance Perfecting Powder. Um, this one is in the shade 002 Warm Beige. So this is a uh, pressed powder, as it says. And so let's take a look at it. It's a perfecting powder, but it's like a pressed powder, I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to take this wrapper off and take a look at it. Um... Let's see how it's going to be. Uh, this is how it looks. And this is in warm beige. So I think I can make it work. Okay. If not, I use it for my under eyes. But that's the shade right there in warm beige. Right there. So yeah. There it is. So I'm excited to try that. And see how that's going to work for me. But it's by NYC. Um, it's the NYC uh, Smooth Skin Parfait BB Radiance, okay? Perfecting Powder, that's what this is. Alright, the next thing i like to show you is just a few random things. I stopped at a few other stores. This was mainly in my area. I had to stop at a couple of stores here. And I saw this necklace and... I just thought this is so pretty to me. I love like dinky, um, is it costume or custom jewelry? It's custom jewelry, right? All right, so I saw this necklace and I thought, okay, let me get this necklace. It's pretty. It's one of those that will just kind of dangle down if I can get it all tangled up okay and I do not want to break it so that necklace right there didn't cost much it was like $5.99 $5.99 which was a great deal and then I just got this little tote here just when I don't want to tote my bigger purse I have this small purse right here this was like $4.99 um, so this is the strap. I can just put it on like a crossbody uh, type of bag and yeah, just put what I need in it. It's very small, but it's very light. And when I just put what I need and just go out the door and it's good when you have to shop and you don't want to tote a heavy pocketbook or a heavy purse then this works we know that but i thought this was cute and with the little um design on the front i just thought it was cute black and gold it's very beautiful i picked up that it was a great price so i said why not okay and the only other thing was this perfume. I have this perfume on. It is an impression perfume, but you know what? I don't have the original perfume in this, but the way that this impression perfume smell, it makes me want to have the designer brand. This is the YSL Manifesto, I think. Manifesto for women. And I picked up this, and you guys, it smells, it's a little strong. It's kind of like a cologne, but a warm, sensual scent. So I like it. I really do. It's different from a lot of perfumes that I have 
So I'm using the impression of the brand YSL Manifesto. But if I continue to like it and I don't have a headache from it, I will purchase the uh, designer brand, the original brand, which is the designer brand. But yeah, this is just a impression perfume. And I like this little thing. It gets in the way, but it's cute. But yeah, I picked up that. So that is just a little bit of a haul that I got just from going. I had to go somewhere out of the area. And so they had a great deal on these products. So I just wanted to show it to you all and everything that I got. Mainly the skincare is what I really wanted to show because I have been very much so into skincare and getting prepared, prepared for the winter months to come because I know my skin can get extremely dry at that time of the year so I'm trying to get a jump start before it, before it gets really cool outside I want to you know get products that will help my skin because my under eye area my eye area is the most problematic area on my skin and I need something for that area more than any other part of my face so i'm getting a jump start all right you guys i hope you enjoy this video and yes you guys i didn't show you this i got these earrings as well at the same store it's a cross on there as you see and it's like gold and silver and i do love these they are just so beautiful so i got these as well but yeah you guys that is all of my haul i hope you enjoy this video if you do give me a thumbs up comment down below if you like share and, and subscribe i will really really like that okay all right you guys i'm gonna let you go so you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening and you know I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.